CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. Thank you for watching another CTD Deep Dive Bowling Ball Review video. You know, we offer these free YouTube videos as a way to help you make an informed decision. So with that being said, let's get right to the ball review. Today we're going to talk about the new ZigZag Solid. This ball features HK22 Hyperkinetic Solid and has a hardness of 73.5. The core name is the ZigZag Asymmetrical Core. Because it's asymmetric, it's going to have a mass bias. The RG is 2.501, the differential is 0.045, and that mass bias is 0.015. The ball has a factory finish of 500, 1500 Sire. We checked it with the CTD surface scanner. It measured right at 1000 grit. The oil absorption rate on this bowling ball is slow. Mm, I don't, mm, we're going to see how that's going to turn out. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. But sometimes these slow balls have been kind of tricky for us. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. The layout is 55 by 4.5 by 30. We're going to bowl on our standard 40 foot house shot. Let's go ahead and get into that ball review right now. But now it's 1000 grit, right? So 1000 grit is really dull. So it should hook a lot, but it kept going. So that's kind of that's kind of useful. That's the part that's, that's actually really useful. That in fact that it kept going. This is the oil flare. This is the front part of the lane. This is the back flare, it's hard to see it, but it's the back part of the lane. So the key is making sure that the flares don't touch, and they don't touch, obviously, you can see they don't touch here. So this is in the middle of the range, right? The, the low end, the, it can go as low as zero, and as high as 60. So 45 is in the middle of the range, uh, but it's enough flare, obviously, to get the job done. I mean, that ball, I mean, so I obviously missed way far left, but what was cool is, it started to make the move. Now, it did begin to stand up a little bit, but it started to make the move, so that's not terrible. Strong. I would say it's continuous, not quite traction. It's a strong, continuous ball. Uh, definitely a guy who throws it hard, like his ball speed's much higher than his rev rate. Good piece to look for. I think this ball, for me, because of my ball speed rev rate, it's going to be used for about a game. And then I'd go into something more symmetric, something a little more continuous, because I feel like it's a really strong ball. It's not traction, but it's definitely on the like it's definitely on the rolly side. It wants to pick up. Um, I do like the fact that it keeps going, which is a huge bonus. Um, but I feel like ultimately this ball is going to be a really, really good ball if you throw the ball hard. If you're a higher ball speed player, this ball is going to be like, it's going to be money for you. Let's throw a few in the dark, see what happens. I got that in quite a bit, didn't get around it either. So the ball, because of an asymmetrical ball, it picked up and it stood up. Because it stood up, it's, it held, because it held it strong. Yeah, that's a better shot. It kept going. I'm gonna move uh, left, and I'm gonna back my hand out of it, and I'm gonna throw it harder and see what that does shape wise. And I feel like that's a really good use case scenario for this ball. Lower rev rate, higher ball speed, probably has a little more room for air even. So my normal ball speed is around 18 miles an hour. That one was 20.7. Uh, you know, I rang the seventh pin, but definitely I like that shape. I, I think I think that's the move. Like the guy who throws it harder, lower rev rate, he's gonna he's gonna be able to whack him with this ball. Yeah, it's it's easy. Yeah, that's easy. So that's definitely the move with this particular piece. We'll do a surface change because 1,000 is chunky. I'm gonna bring it up, and we're gonna see what that does here in a second. So now we're at stable. So stable is 4,700. So what that means is this is like, this is lane shine. So now the ball is at where it will end up at anyway. So if you don't keep the surface on your bowling ball, it will end up at stable. It'll end up at 4,700 over time regardless. So now the ball is at stable. So this is the condition that your ball would be in if you never change the surface of your bowling ball. I mean, it's got a good shape to it. It's definitely got a good shape to it. It's not obviously not as early now. It feels more 
more continuous, more regular continuous. Mmm! Yeah, I, I actually like it at Lane Shine. I like it at 4700. It's, it's more usable now. I feel like it still has a shape, less total hook, but it still has a shape. Zig! Zag! I like it, I like it, I like it. It's good. All right, we'll move a half left. So that is why I told you earlier, the window for use. So now you're beginning to see the other side of the stronger asymmetric bowling ball. So you gotta make, you gotta be, you gotta be cognizant of that. That's all, that's all. You just gotta know when that happens, it's time to make a move. So now I'm going back right, so we'll see if that fixes it. Now you have more information about the brand new Radical Zigzag Solid. So let me give you my final thoughts here. Basically, if you are a speed dominant player, I think you wanna keep it at 1,000 grit. You wanna surface it every three games, keep it right at 1,000 grit so it doesn't go up, and just do what you gotta do. You'll know how long you'll be able to use it. Should be a little bit longer if you're a, a high speed player. The higher the speed, the longer you can use the ball. Uh, if you're the uh, more balanced, you know, medium rev rate, medium ball speed, maybe you wanna get the bowling ball to 4,700, let it lane shine. Um, you're gonna be able to get some usability out of the ball that way for sure. The hook goes down, but the total shape stays about the same. Um, you just gotta remember that when you start seeing those ring and flat corner pins, then it's time to make a little bit of an adjustment. A two and one, a one and one, uh, maybe a little bit more around the wrist to, with, with your wrist to create more shape. But you need, you need it, that's a warning sign. That's a warning sign. So take that warning sign, make an adjustment, keep striking. That's it. That's all I got.